All right, what's going on guys? T Torres back here for another video. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about and riding my buddy's 2022 uh, Honda Rebel 1100. And um, and it's a uh, six-speed uh, manual transmission. It's a pretty, pretty cool bike. I, I've I had the chance to ride it. I've ridden it now for about 30 minutes or so. And uh, yeah, we're going to hop on the bike and uh, I'm going to tell you some things I, I like and I don't like about it. But overall, I think this is a great, great bike. All right, let's go ahead and start this bad boy up. Whoops, I'm on the wrong side. Now, of course, this ain't gonna be a cold start because the bike's already warmed up, but nice little electric start here. Give you a little rev. Not bad. All right, so like I mentioned in that last clip, uh, we're on a 2022 20, Honda Rebel 1100 six speed manual transmission making about mm, I think it makes right around 86 horsepower and I think 72 to 74 foot pounds of torque not uh, not a hundred percent sure I don't remember uh, to the T what the engine specs are so as you can see right off the bat he has a Kaufman's um, muffler slip on uh, he bought this bike out of state and I believe Mississippi the bike had about 500 miles on it I think it was 400 600 something like that uh, big shout out to Nate thank you for letting me borrow your bike for this uh, video and he has two aftermarket bags that I, I particularly like you just click them in pop them on pop them off boom it's got a bag here and one of the things that I do like that Honda did is they incorporated all LED turn signals, your running light, uh, your brake lights, got nice rear Showa um, rear suspension for uh, for the shocks, uh, LED front headlight and turn signals as well. Uh, the guy before him had put aftermarket um, hand grips, aftermarket looks like a Mustang seat, and then um, I believe this ram mount came with it, and then the guy had already added a, a place for your um a place for your you know where you can charge your devices or whatever so i thought that was thought that was pretty pretty cool that they already did that so let's go ahead and fire this bike up one of the things that i do like about this bike is that it freaking has cruise control how awesome is that all right so we have the 1100 fired up it's actually not too too terribly loud it's actually kind of kind of mild and tamed I do like it so as, as you can see here you have your your power level your torque and your engine braking uh, this is how uh, Nathan has it set up for him and I just said to well, just, I'll just ride in that as well so we got power all the way torque all the way and then engine braking is on the uh, lowest setting uh, for you to uh, to be able to uh, utilize that so one of the things that I want to say right off the bat this bike feels like um, it feels like, how can I say this? So whenever you're riding right here, the position kind of gives you a sporty upright or like a cruiser feel. It's like a mix between that. Like I said, I'm six foot, six one, 200 pounds in. And I think it I think it feels fine. The guy before him also added an aftermarket horn. So it's a lot, a lot louder than what the factory one is. So let's go ahead and take this, take this Rebel down the road and uh, yeah, see what we think. I think this bike really, really comes alive at that at that 4,000 RPM uh, and above is when I think this bike really starts coming to life. I can't really tell you what it sounds like from the factory stock, but just adding that little Kaufman slip-on muffler, I, I think the bike sounds good. Like I said, riding position feels great, uh, being that it does have the aftermarket mustang seat um the windscreen feels great too so we're gonna we're gonna hop on this road up here and uh and see how this bike uh bike feels like i said it's, it's pretty comfortable i don't feel uh feel my back or anything feeling weird or wonky like it's just a different riding position from because i also have a um a victory highball and it's more of a you know butt in the seat cruising style type bike and um this one just from the get-go when i first got on it just definitely did feel feel different but like i said i i like the way it feels the transmission feels buttery smooth with the clutch and shifting gears etc 
So it looks like red line is right about, what was that, about 8,000 something RPMs. We're definitely not gonna get to that today. But as we, uh, as Nathan progresses uh, with doing stuff to this bike, I wanted to be there to film it and show you all the different stuff that Nate, Nate has planned. Um, has planned for his Honda Rebel 1100 and uh, him and his lady also just got a new 2023 um, Sea-Doo switch the 230 some horsepower supercharged one so we're also going to be bringing on that on the on the channel you know it's, it's different content you guys have never seen uh, boat style content on here I don't think I've ever had a boat on the channel so we're gonna we're gonna mix it up between cars and trucks and motorcycles and we're gonna add a boat and document uh, their experience uh, with the CD switch and uh, yeah super excited we uh, they just took it out this weekend and did you know they're doing their little breaking period of uh, of 10 hours on it I mean it couldn't be a better a better Sunday here in Florida 75 degrees nice little cross crosswind and it uh yeah it actually feels good so I'm excited to get out here what's this Jeep doing I'm excited to get out here and take this bike for a ride. I'm more excited to try out this freaking cruise control, to be honest with you. Having cruise control on a bike is freaking clutch. Freaking clutch. It, it had, definitely has some torque. I think down in the in the lower range of the torque, it, it feels really great. Like I said, it only makes about 70 plus foot pounds of torque and like 80, 80 some horsepower, which which I think that's plenty. Now, don't quote me, but I believe this is the exact same 1100 automatic or manual motor that you can get on the Honda Africa Twin, which is really the adventure bike that I'm going for. I, I want to try the, the Harley Davidson Pan America. The uh, I've been on the KTM um, adventure bike. wasn't really for me. I just need to get on the Africa Twin and the Harley Davidson Pan America. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the Honda Rebel. Let's go ahead, turn cruise control, cruise control on, and let's see how this works. Oh, oh, how cool is that? <laughs> It may be small to you all, but I love being able to have the cruise control feature. That's awesome. Tap the brake. Cruise control is now disengaged. Road downshift to fifth. Ah, oh, perfect. I like it. I like it. I like it. Now, I'd, I'd have to go for, like, maybe, like, a, uh, I don't know, hour plus ride, you know, 50 plus miles to see what it feels like. But I'm telling you right now, so far... You know, if you're looking to upgrade and get get to a uh, a bigger bike, a comfortable bike, a steady a steady bike, I think that, you know this is this is great. And what better? It is a freaking Honda, easy maintenance. Um, don't think you ever have any 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 issues out of out of this bike as well. Yeah, I mean, when when this bike needs to be heard, it'll it'll definitely let you know that it's not a. Uh, not a wimpy little, you know, 300 Rebel 300 or the 500, whatever, whatever they make. I'm not, I'm not really well versed on all that Honda Rebel stuff. But when he told me he got the, he got a new Honda Rebel 1100, I was like, dude, I gotta ride it and put it on the channel. And uh, lo and behold, like I said, he got this out of, I think it was somewhere in M Mississippi. I think they met in Biloxi or something. But this guy also had a on Africa Twin, he bought this, and he, you know, he rides his uh, Africa Twin more than he does the uh, on the Rebel. So it was time for him to sell it. Like I said, I, I don't remember what Nate said, but it only it only had like 400 miles, 500 miles. So like it just got, he just did the the break-in service for it, oil change, all that all that good stuff. But like I said, I love, absolutely love the beautiful paint uh, that Honda did. I, I don't know what, what it's called, but this, you know, brown, goldish, metallic, flakish looking type of deal when it hits the sun is is amazing. I, I, I feel like um, the actual riding position uh, with my arms and stuff, you know, the, the, I got good visibility out of the mirrors. You know, it's not like I'm having to ride with my shoulders tucked in so I can see see what's behind me you know the bike feels feels pretty good and nimble you know the bike does have uh does have abs and um i don't quote me i don't know how big the the, the tank is but it's probably 
I don't know, three, four gallons, eh, maybe five gallon tank. It says, you know, we when I got on the bike earlier, it had about 160 mile range uh, on a full tank. So, you know, that also depends on on how you drive the uh, on how you drive the bike as well. I can definitely see myself uh, owning one of these uh, for sure. And I know there's a couple channels out there where they where they have these bikes and. There's all kind of different different stuff that you can do to them after market wise, and I think you know starting out, I think this bike is like nine nine nine, like so pretty much ten thousand uh, dollars with the manual transmission. Obviously, the DCT uh, automatic is gonna gonna cost a little bit more, but um, yeah, man, this, this bike feels feels amazing. It rides it rides good. Like I said, if you're looking to get get onto something a little bit bigger, this this may be it for you. This definitely may be, may be it. You know, I still love all my small board stuff, and I, I've got a 1800cc Victory Highball, and uh, I love it. But I'm telling you, man, this, this bike is very nice and comfortable to ride. I think Nathan got a hell of a deal picking picking this bad boy up. But if there's anything else that you guys want want to see or have you know reviewed on about this Honda Rebel, please let me know. Like I said. Oh, as, as you know, Nate does stuff to this thing um, where I'm going to film the process, and um, yeah, this is definitely a an awesome bike. So comment down below, let me know what you think about today's video. Please hit that subscribe button, leave this video a big thumbs up, and uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace.